You're watching the CFA News Weekly video. This video is brought to you by Erner Berry. Visit Erner Berry at booth number 2A201 at Seafood Expo Global in Barcelona from April 26th to the 28th. Meet with our team for a free demo of Erner Berry's Comtel service and to learn more about Erner Berry's other offerings. I'm CFA News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm CFA News Staff Writer Ryan Doyle. In this week's top news, Pacific Seafood has been fined $123,000 for water quality violations in Grays Harbor. Pacific Seafood's processing facility discharges wastewater in Half Moon Bay in Grays Harbor through an outfall it shares with the City of Westport Municipal Wastewater Treatment Plant. The company does have a permit to discharge wastewater within certain limitations. However, they must follow monitoring and reporting requirements. According to the Washington Department of Ecology, Pacific Seafood released wastewater above the amounts allowed in its permit and also did not monitor several wastewater discharges as required by the permit. These actions reportedly occurred between April 2020 and November 2021. Meanwhile, China's General Administration of Customs announced that they'd be taking additional emergency precautionary measures this week after packaging of seafood products from Ecuador and Vietnam tested positive for COVID-19. On Wednesday, 14 companies from Ecuador that export frozen vaname shrimp received suspensions ranging from four weeks to 13 weeks. Another 12 companies from Vietnam were suspended after packages of frozen vaname and frozen black tiger, tiger shrimp tested positive for COVID-19. Those suspensions range from one week to four weeks. In other news, construction is officially underway for Aqua Bounty's new facility in Pioneer, Ohio. The aquaculture company announced on Wednesday that they celebrated breaking ground on the construction for their first 10,000 metric ton Atlantic salmon farm. Site preparation for the Ohio facility began in January, just six months after naming Pioneer as the new location. The plan is to begin stocking salmon eggs at the 479,000 square foot facility in late 2023. And finally, those attending Seafood Expo Global in Barcelona from April 26th to the 28th will be happy to learn that Spanish authorities have lifted the mask mandate. In addition to the removal of the mask mandate, attendees and exhibitors are no longer required to provide proof of full vaccination against COVID-19 or a negative COVID-19 test. This is the first time that the expo will be taking place in Spain after being held in Belgium for the past 27 years. And while the event was canceled for the past two years, the 2019 expo attracted more than 29,000 buyers and suppliers from around the globe. Liz Pliska, Diversified's group vice president, said last month that the 2022 event represents 97% of the size of the 2019 event. And that's the guacamole. Subscribe to our channel below and don't forget to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood Tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And you can also listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here next week.